Hey everyone, this week I'm talking about Juliet has a guns, not a perfume. Is it actually not a perfume? Is it a perfume? Is it all just a fake emperor has new clothes sort of a thing that I got duped into buying? Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. A recent pickup of mine that I grabbed uh, after I've spent uh, a few times wearing this uh, from going into a Sephora, finally picked up not a perfume from Juliet Has a Gun. And um, at first, when, when I first heard about this, I thought it was a joke, kind of like the, the Molecule 001 and all those things. Uh, they kind of seem scammy to me. So uh, I was curious though, went down to Sephora and I wore this a few times and had some interesting thoughts about it. So I wanna talk about both the form and the function of this. I'm gonna start off by talking about the form and then I'll talk about its actual function because I think it was designed not to be a perfume. But that being said, a little bit about this. This is one note called Cetalox. And Cetalox, uh, I'm not sure where it comes from. I think it's synthetic. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be synthesizing. Uh, but on my skin, when I smell it, when I just spray it by itself, it kind of gives me the impression of just having gotten out of a pool. So it's kind of got this like mildly bleached skin, a little bit fresh, a little bit aquatic um, thing going on. Uh, I sprayed some on earlier, that's why I'm smelling it. So uh, on its own, it's very intimate. It's most people will probably not even notice that you have anything on. If they do notice, it's probably gonna be because they came in very close. And the reason for that is because Sedlox is a fixative. I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more in an upcoming um, video that I'm gonna do on longevity, but I'll just briefly say uh, that a fixative is something that both grabs onto your skin and grabs onto anything that it touches. So the idea with not a perfume is that it is a fragrance booster. So as to the function of this, um, Again, I like this on its own. I think it's an interesting fragrance on its own. You could probably buy Cetalox cheaper and make this fragrance for a fraction of the price of actually buying it, but I wanted to photograph it, so I bought it. But in terms of actual function, I want to talk about two fragrances. Two fragrances that notoriously get uh, crapped on for their performance. One is Aqua de Parma's Fico di Amalfi. The other one is Dolce & Gabbana's The One EDT. Now, um, I figured if I'm gonna try out this thing as a, as a fragrance booster, I might as well try it with two that people complain about constantly. I will, I will start off by saying I don't have a problem with either of these performances. I will make a video about the one, but I think that's for very different reasons. Uh, Aqua de Parma's is more scientific. And again, I'm gonna talk about that in a future, fra in a future thing, but in this video, I just wanna talk about uh, how this, the, the fragrance booster actually works. So I actually tried it this morning. Oh, I've tried it a couple times, but I just did this combo this morning. So on one arm, I just sprayed out of the shower, skin dry. Um, I sprayed on one arm, Aqua de Parma. And then on the other arm, I sprayed down, not a perfume, let that dry. And then I, I uh, sprayed uh, Aqua de Parma's Fico de Diamalfi on top of that. And kind of wanted to see what happened. My immediate, uh, the, the thing that I immediately noticed was that the side that had Juliet has a gun on it was not as projecting. So um, it, was, it was already a little bit more of an intimate smell. And as I thought about it, I guess that made sense to me. The idea with this is it's a fixative. So what it's going to do is it's gonna hold on to more of the fragrance oil longer than it would naturally otherwise. There's lots of different factors that go into what will make an oil vaporize, but you can guess the biggest one is probably gonna be heat. So if you have a strong fixative that holds that, that can fight against the heat, you will theoretically have a fragrance that lasts longer. However, since it's grabbing onto that, it's not going to be as expansive. It's not gonna be as aromatic. You're not gonna smell it as strong. So I would say right off the bat, I felt like maybe uh, the arm that had Juliet has a gun on it was about 15 to 20% um, softer. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't as um, strong smelling right off the bat. Uh, the, the, the left arm, which just had the Fico on it, was, was very strong, exactly what you expect. So my experience with Fico is um, 
because it is a lot of fruits. I think there's a lot of citrus in here as well. It is gonna go off quickly because those are volatile uh, aromatics. They're not gonna hang around. That's just the nature. That's how they work scientifically. There are things that you can do to mitigate that, but if you're working with naturals, that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, I think it is the nature of the beast with synthetics as well, since the synthetics are usually synthesizing a natural molecule. So, um, usually I would say with Fico de Amalfi, I get uh, between three to five hours of performance. Uh, I will also say you should not take the number as I give as an average. I run hot. Uh, there's no one's skin that I've ever touched where it felt warmer than mine. I don't run wet. I'm not like clammy, but my skin is just warm constantly. So I burn through fragrances a lot faster, I think, than other people. So I think when I say I get three to five hours on this, I think other people would say typically around four to five, probably. I think five is probably the upper echelon. And so I'll say this, I was constantly checking back and forth between my arms throughout to see how they performed. And my experience was this, and, and this is actually the case with the one as well. It was about the same where uh, the side that had the not a not a perfume on it, Juliet has a gun, basically maintained longer. So so, whereas the the one and Fico on their own kind of dipped down on their own natural timeline, I felt like the Juliet has a gun, uh, more than extending the life of it a very great deal. Although it did do that, uh, what it did do was keep it at a certain level longer. Uh, the way that I kind of thought about it as I was I was experiencing it with these two fragrances is that uh, it's kind of like you turn down the volume to preserve the battery a little bit. So you're going to get a little bit longer battery life. The volume's going to be a little bit lower, but you'll have the music going a little bit longer. And that's basically my experience with both of these. Uh, in both cases, um, I would say I got maybe another 15, 20%. So I would say with, with Aqua de Parma today, at this point, it's been about six and a half hours, and I don't really smell it on my on the arm that was just Aqua de Parma. It's it is maybe at this point like just kind of a vague aquatic. The, the vague aquatics that you get from Aqua de Parma are what's left there. Um, on this side, I actually smell uh, the the Juliet has a gun, not a perfume, but I still do get a little bit of the fig from Fico di Amalfi. It's very light at this point. Uh, but I will say it, it did last longer, probably gave me an extra hour, hour and a half. Um, but in that hour and a half, it was all skin, skin scent anyway. Uh, I think the benefit of the Juliet Has a Gun was the earlier performance where it, it prevented the drop off in both cases. It kind of helps the longevity. So you're sacrificing a little bit of the, the projection and the aromatic nature of the fragrance you're wearing but it seems like you get a little bit more consistent longevity and performance. I think that's pretty worth it, I, or pretty cool. I think that's worth it, I like that. Um, again, I don't really have a problem with the performance because I burn through fragrances so fast, I'm fine and used to reapplying, uh, and I also have a massive collection. I understand that's not everyone else, um, but also this was a case for me like apart from fragrances. Before I started my modern collection, I would have five different candles around the house uh, or, or you know reed diffusers or whatever I had smells all over the place so it doesn't bother me to have to change my scent up but if you are looking for some way to kind of build the robustness keep keep your fragrances smelling robust in the midst of, of um, wearing them I would look into something like not a perfume I know there are other ones as well um, I haven't smelled them this is again a very subtle scent on its own so um, I, I like it. I think if you're the type of person that wants to get stuff that's different or weird, this is a very subtle thing. Maybe I'm faking myself out, out with it still. I still don't know, but I like it. I think it's cool. I think it's cool that they made it. And I think it's fun to experiment around with this stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. Did I waste my money? Is this, is this the emperor's new clothes just in a perfume form? I'm not sure, tell me. I'll uh, talk to you next week. I got a couple of uh, videos coming up. I'm gonna be doing a couple different like Joe Learns Good and returning back to that series. So I'll be doing a couple of those in the next few weeks and uh, hope to, to see you again. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much, bye.